Hey guys, what is up? Dave here. Coming back to you with part two of what happened to me on Friday the 13th and 14th. Uh, just another like day in the life, uh, story time with Tech X sort of thing. I wanted to dive right back into part two of what happened to me with this most recent job that I had and continue this series because I feel like this series is going to be a lot of fun. So we are still on the same Minecraft seed. But as I want to do with every single episode of this, I want to do a different seed with the title of each story. And since this is part two, we're just going to call it part two sat 14th police. <laughs> oh, this gets fun. Um, this episode shouldn't be as long unless I just sputter on and on and on because I like to do that. But let's create this world, see what this has in store, and let's get right into the story because this gets to be a lot of fun. So just to fill in, um, for people who didn't see part one, I recommend you go watch it. It was a very... Fly, damn it. It was a very interesting... It was very interesting what happened to me with this job on Friday the 13th. For those who don't want to go sit through a 25-minute video, um, long story short, old man and I got in an argument over search engine optimization uh, where he was believing a company that they decided to fire that was wrong. And I was told by somebody who had made hundreds of thousands of successful or er, hundreds of successful websites that get hundreds of thousands of views and that I was doing everything correctly. And these guys had taught me to stand up for myself when I believe I'm right. So that's what I did. And it caused an argument and, you know, verbal threats from the old man and some other immaturities from the old man uh, coming at me and having to be literally pushed out of the office when, uh, when he actually looked like he was going to physically harm me. He literally had to be pushed out of the office. So... Let's jump right into this. Go watch the first episode if you want to listen to what happened there. And let's jump right into Saturday the 14th. So on Saturday, it was about 16 hours later. It was around like 1230, I think, a uh, text message hit my phone. And it was from the old man. Uh, it says, Dave, this is, and by the way, just to preface, I'm still saying old man, young man the company SEO company, because I'm not naming names of anything just to not get anybody attacked for this kind of thing. And, uh, you know, don't go after them. If you figure out who it was, the young guy deserves to have a successful business. The old guy needs to leave and it is what it is. Things happen. So I get a text message, Dave, this is old man. I'm not trying to be disrespectful is what I meant. I'm just saying like old man to preface. It was the older guy. So by the way, he's well over, he's over 60 years old. He's double my age. So that gives you about an age range that you can put the immature face to the name. Um, this is old man. If our website isn't restored in an hour, I will go directly to the local police department and have you arrested. It is our intellectual property. Keep in mind, yes, I was the webmaster. I created that website from the ground up all by myself. Um, I learned a lot while doing it and even did research to teach myself further things that I didn't know, like better search engine optimization techniques and how to better code things and how to better optimize a website, especially on WordPress, because WordPress can be very chunky and not well optimized once you throw a lot of plugins and stuff at it. So I did not touch the website after leaving work. I went straight to picking up a friend around 2 p.m. I left work around 1.30, and I didn't touch the website. I, uh, The young guy had texted me actually that morning and asked if I had messed with the website. I replied that I didn't, but maybe it was just self-updated and a problem occurred with the self-update because everything was enabled for auto-update so we wouldn't have to check it as often. And maybe the update broke. I did not know that the young guy also wasn't at work, that he was out with his family. So I didn't know that the communication wasn't going to be there. And uh, 
I just filled them in that, you know, it could have been a self update glitch, you know, who knows, got to log into the back end of the website and look, you know, so I responded to the old guy. I take it since I didn't know he was at work uh, yet. I actually responded in a way like they were both there. Um, I take it. You guys don't believe me that I didn't touch it. I did not touch the website. I would not stoop to that level. I talked to the young guy this morning about it. I was with my friend all day after 2 p.m. She also works for them, so they trust her. They know who she is. And, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. They know who she is. They know everything about it. It's okay. Uh, They would trust her, and they can ask her if things are all right, if I'm telling the truth or not. So I haven't. Have I even found a village yet? Yes. <laughs> Answered my own question. Um, and I, I didn't touch it. It was the truth. They could even ask her and find out if I touched it or not. So um, that's what I told the old guy. That's how I responded to the old guy. My friend, like I said, she also works for them, and he responded to me, well, it needs to be uploaded again. The backup basically needs to be restored, is what he meant by uploaded again. We supported you with honor, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And then he said, we need to figure this glitch out. So let me remind you, I quit slash was fired. This is not on me to fix. So I responded to him. I deleted everything I had and offered to help remove my access to the young guy directly. Ooh, I put his name there. Young guy directly around 2.15 p.m. yesterday in a text, and I sent a screenshot to prove it. And that's what I did. I deleted everything so I would no longer have any of the physical files that belong to them out of respect. I don't work for them. I don't need to have access. Um... And yeah, I sent the screenshot to confirm that, you know, I had, you know, talked to the young guy the day before and everything was hunky dory, (laughs) to put it that way. So I also added after sending the screenshot, um, remember you were the one shaking with anger yesterday who had to be pushed out of the office. Obviously I'm not going to mess with anything belonging to a person who knows how to find me and clearly had intent to physically harm me. He then responded to that on top of that. Oh, they finally used these blocks in some places. I haven't been looking at this. I'm just like flying around. He then responded, uh, I need to stop saying um and uh all the time. I'll get better at this. I promise. He responded with, remember, you were the one who was highly disrespectful. I suggest you never speak to your supervisor or any adult person that way ever again, like the way you spoke to me yesterday. Uh, Really, I don't think what I said was that disrespectful. For those who uh, didn't watch the video for part one, let me pull it up because I want to get it right for... Well, basically what I said was something along the lines of like, well, if you want to believe that other company, the SEO company, who you fired, as well as suddenly you're right about everything SEO, you can change it yourself, even though you barely know how to navigate a web page. Or I said something along those lines. And he didn't like that, obviously, because that could be seen as disrespectful, but like on a scale of like 1 to 10, 10 being like, holy crap, that's disrespectful. I would put it at like a solid four or a five. Like it realistically, what I said, I don't believe warrants the response that I got from him of borderline physical violence and uh, being threatened to rip my fucking head off as he direct quote said to me. Um, so I don't think it was really that disrespectful for what I said. Uh, And then he added, he took the next step forward of immaturity, which I didn't think it could get any better with his immaturity. I was comparing him to like a 16 year old high school student at this point, and he just dropped it to like an eight year old. He just cut it in half. He said, if your father would like to discuss your behavior and my reaction to your subordinate response, please have him call me. Now, please help the young guy fix the website. All the best to you. So you really think that I'm going to help you 
after you're talking to me in such a way that is with heavy threats and things of that nature and threatening to involve the police department when you barely even understand the technology at hand, you expect me to, you know, suddenly help you with things. Um, that's not how this works. If you're treating me with, if you're treating me with disrespect, I'm not suddenly going to treat you with respect and be used that way. That's literally just taking advantage of a nice person. So at this point, I had actually already called the uh, young guy, his business partner, the other owner of the company, and um, told him of the old man's uh, actions in the text messages and basically asked him and said it in a joking manner because we kind of had that relationship. Ooh, kind of had that relationship of we could still kind of throw jokes back and forth. So I said, hey, could you get your little friend's behavior under control? Or something along those lines on the phone. And that's when I found out that he actually wasn't at work. So one hand didn't talk to the other, basically, and in informing the young guy what I had said this morning about the website to the old man. So also young guy kind of said, just don't talk to him anymore. Leave him out of your thoughts and we'll deal with this, you know, later when I do have a chance to talk to him. So at that point, I kind of had the decision, you know, myself, do I really stop talking to him? B, do I troll him more? Or C, do I send one final long response and then just block him? If you guessed B, you know me too well. And that's what I normally would have done. But I was trying to be the bigger man here, not the immature one. And I actually went with C and I sent something that I'm not going to say was, uh, you know, there wasn't anything disrespectful in it. It was full of truth. And exactly how I was feeling. That's I just let my fingers start flying on the keypad. That's basically what I did. And this is a long message, so I'm not going to move in game a little bit unless I'm like moving my fingers on WASD. But I need to move this over and make sure I'm scrolled down enough because it's it's a long message. So that's why I'm not going to move for a minute. We'll just watch the moon. The moon is gorgeous, isn't it? Minecraft is nice. Anyway. I sent the one final message to the old man. I said, I have nothing more to say to you. Young guy has informed me or young guy has been informed of your actions via phone call as I will in no, I will not in any form. Good Lord. I can't read. Let's start this over. I'm not going to edit that out though, because it's how I do videos. Eventually I'll stop being lazy and I'll edit my videos. So I said to him, I have nothing more to say to you, old man. Young guy has been informed of your actions via phone call, as I will not in any form be treated this way by someone twice my age. Who should know better? Young guy wants me to long, no longer speak with you. This will be my last message. I'm no longer your employee. I deleted everything yesterday that I had on my personal devices out of respect to not have access to anything I shouldn't have. I'm willing to work with the young guy completely for free to fix the website at least. If you're going to continue to try to involve yourself so immaturely, like I'm your property with threats of police involvement, I will not help young guy either. You'll be all on your own, your decision. I also never hold things back. I tell the truth of both sides when telling people things that occur in my life. If you want proof of that, look at my website, techx.onl. Shameless plug. There's an article there where I literally incriminate myself with unauthorized access to a networked computer system, which is a felony in the United States. All over the development of a video game. Speaking of 1320 Challenge. That mountain is huge. Sorry, I lost my spot because I was looking at the mountain like an idiot. Um, all over the development of a video game. Due to how you reacted, people are on my side. If I had truly felt threatened by you, 
that's enough for me to press charges under the elements of menacing intent, regardless of some disrespectful words I said. Words of disrespect are not illegal. Threats of, if this was 15 years ago, I'd rip your fucking head off, are illegal. Having to be pushed out of the office when you are charging at me is also another form of menacing intent to physically harm another human being. Let it go, old man, let it go. I will now just block your number. Of course, I had to throw the troll in there of, you know, the song Let It Go because it's what I do. Um, as of now, I have not heard back anything from the old guy. There's no reason for me to, uh, you know, hope for any response because I don't want a response. I don't want to continue this. Um, he also has no way to contact me anyway unless he uses the young man's phone, the young guy's phone. I've still worked with the young guy. Uh, last night, I was I made a full private YouTube video tutorial on all of the back-end stuff when it comes to WordPress, and I sent it to him. It's like a 25 to 30-minute video. Showed him also how to restore a backup of the website and showed him how to create new users with adequate roles. Um, you know, if I hated the place, why would I do that? Obviously, I don't have any ill will that I want to put forth here, but... The old guy is making it very difficult. So the other thing that my girlfriend added when I was talking to her about this is uh, also the old guy, if I did end up having to press charges for some reason, he could also be hit with uh, threatening um, a mentally ill person because I'm diagnosed autistic. And it's in my files. Like, I am diagnosed autistic. It's a real thing. I'm not just making a joke about autism. Um, so he could be hit with that too, and that would just make things e oh so much worse for him. But I'm not going to go after him with charges. I don't care that much. You know, I can just move on and let it happen, and or and just have the story that's really funny about it. So I might continue working with the young guy. He's a really nice guy. If I am also going to look into a business loan tomorrow. Um, my goal right now is to kind of price out all the tools and stuff that I need for a basic repair shop as well as finding a storefront and seeing what the cost per year would be. But uh, I'm thinking about just starting up my own shop and going from there. So we'll see what happens. But... You know, if I want to press charges, I can. The statute of limitations is not up yet. I can still press charges for how I felt when the old guy was coming at me. But there's no reason for me to. Like, I don't personally feel like I should stoop to that level. If I wanted to stoop to that level, I would have already done it. And I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now because the police would tell me not to tell people. But, you know... It was an interesting Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th. It was definitely interesting because I was at my parents' house waiting for a washer and dryer to be delivered. And then I suddenly find out that maybe the cops are looking for me. <sighs> really dumb. I don't get it. But, you know, if you guys want more of this series and if there's any updates to this story, I'll obviously do them under this series name. Um... Let's uh, let's make this a series. Let's make this like my comeback series, my first series back to the channel. Because it's time I get back into recording videos. If I want to hit 10,000 subs by the end of next year, I need to obviously upload videos. And I don't want to just be known as some game modder. Like, I want to do more things. I want to do things. I want to upload things that I want to make. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I think one of the other series that's going to come to this channel is the history of Flash games. I just want to play Flash games. Is that so wrong? Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.